Hi guys, it's uh, Carter here, coming to you with another video. Uh, I thought I would put a little video together just to preview some of the work I've currently been working on. Um, this little piece of work is a new engine mod for the JAR 330. Uh, this is the GE uh, 6F6 engine. Um, uh, with a, a bit of extra pieces on there, which I'll get to shortly. Uh, I have to apologize about a bit of the flickering, unfortunately. It's just some of the weather out here, which I needed to show some stuff, which we'll get to shortly. Um, so we're currently sitting on the ground in Phoenix with some bad weather. Uh, I have the plane all sort of set up, ready to give you a preview. Uh, so let's get outside and have a look at these engines. So here we are outside and we are rocking the Air Lingus livery with these GE engines as you can see. And these are fully modeled, fully textured by myself um, and they'll be available when I have finished and made sure everything is okay with them, which shouldn't be too long now. Um, so we have a little close look at them. Uh, as you can see, we've got some uh, PBR work, some uh, texture work, added a bit of dirt to the back there, and all the animations are there as well. And just to give you a bit of preview on some of the PBR work here, let's just go to replay mode and let's just change the time of day. You get an idea of some of the work. You can see a bit of it here on the front, uh, just to give a bit of character to uh, to the the engines. And if we move this back down here and we move closer to the back of the plane, you can see it here as well as we move the time of day. So, just give you a better preview of the uh, uh, of the, what I've been working on there. So, yeah, let's just go back. So that's that's the actual engine. So, one of the things I want to show you as well is just uh, a few extra bits that I've added onto the engine as well, not just the model and the texture work and the PBR work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up these babies and give you a preview of what it looks like when the engines are running. So. The plane is ready, and we've all it's all set up, ready for just the engines to be started. So let's get these engines started. Start the engine. Run. Starting engine one. So here it starts. One of the things I've added in here, you'll see in a minute, come up is a bit of particle work, and these particles we'll start here in a second are. So like a, a bleed, a bleed air leakage for when the engines start. And these only really appear under icing conditions, so anything under 10 degrees. And they only start, you know, they only say for a short period when the engines start. Um, and they will happen on both sides of the engine. But this is the engine started. N1, fast N1 animation is there. We do look outside as well. And let's start engine number two. Starting engine two. And you'll see here I've got some uh, particle work as well. 
and then it's on to the second engine. I'll start in a second. And these change as well depending on the temperature. Anything below 10 or 9 degrees or so, you start seeing this. So I'll start up here. Yep. Yeah. That's engine two started. Looking good so far. So one of the other things I've added, I've seen it on a couple of planes, and I wanted to add it in here because I know this isn't set up by default by Jar. Uh, is there is a particle effect that is used when you are taking off or landing. Um, and you get this kind of condensation going in. And that's why I have set the um, sort of the weather, so that it's low visibility, rain, all the conditions you would normally see this in. So if I spool up the engines here, you'll see this effect that I've added in to the engines, just to add a bit more to it. So let's spool this up. And as well here, this is, uh, let's spool it down just a little bit. This is the medium sort of uh, N1. And as you've seen just there for briefly, if you spool it up more, you get the high N1. And then if we spool it up max, there you go, you start seeing that, that uh, inlet texture, or inlet uh, particles when you go to max. And if we go exterior, I'll show you what it looks like outside. And that's a little bit of what I've done there. Uh, finally, uh, I'll just show you one more thing here that I know everyone probably still wants to have a look at. It's just the reverser animation. So let's uh, get a little closer and bring those out. That is uh, pretty much what I've been working on. So, um, yeah, I mean, feel free to post a comment if you have any questions or anything like that, but uh, hopefully it'll be out shortly. Uh, I potentially will be working on some of the other engines as well. PW engine is on my list to do, as well as potentially doing the Leap engine for the 320 and 321 and all that stuff. So uh, stay tuned, and again, have any questions, leave a comment. Cheers, guys.